Hi everybody, Susie Q here and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. And today I got a package in the mail and guess who from? No clues or anything, <clears throat> but that's right, Aquarium Co-op. I got, uh, but is this Bubble Bio? B bubble Bio. <laughs> it's a fluidized filter. It's a fluidized biomedia filter. So I got it because I thought it would be great in my turtle tanks. And then I saw that you kind of have to prime it up for a little bit. And my turtle tanks are up top bang in the back trying to plug it in. And I figure I'll try it in a tank nearby where I know it's at least 12 inches. I'm thinking how hard could this be, right? Let's take a look. Okay, let's just take this in for a second. This is Aquarium Co-op Tape on a USPS box to Q Aquatics. This is my very first Aquarium Co-op package. Let's see what I got. Is this Bubble Bio? This is a filter I'm going to test out to see how I like it. I have one, two, three, four turtle tanks. If this works, I will be so happy. A filter. What? It's an internal moving bed filter, self-cleaning filter media and direct oxygen supply. What? This bubble bio. So I'm going to check it out and we'll see how it works. This is going to be. Looks pretty fairly straight up. We got Biomedia. Oh, I better just read the directions before I go doing anything, huh? This bottom comes off to clean the sponge. And it goes back on, not by breaking it. Oh. Ta-da! I'm very excited. So this is what comes in the box. Here's the box. Here's the filter. Airline. And some suction cups. Oh, there's something else in there. It looks like a splitter. Oh, that's just a valve so you can go up or down with the amount of pressure of air that's going in. You can give it more or less. But if you're the kind of person that likes lots of instructions, you're not going to get it with this product. These are literally the instructions. So it's pretty fairly simple. Clean all parts with water before using. Install suction cups on the main body attached to the side of the aquarium. Of course, clean the wall first. Connect the air supply and then adjust the filter. That's it. It needs several hours to days for the normal circulation. So let's check this out. Suction cups on here. Now I don't need this because that's already, I have an airline already attached to a sponge filter and I don't need this because that sponge filter has its own valve. So I'm just going to attach it, take off the sponge filter and attach it to this. Now I know I heard um, Corey saying that when you go to clean this and it's stuck on the side of the tank and it's this part is the filter. This part is the filter getting uh, filled with crap. You take a bag and put it underneath it, and then take it off, just like you would a sponge filter, and then pull it out of the tank so it doesn't get dirty, so your water doesn't get too dirty. Whoop! Then you can rinse it off with tank water, and put it back with no worries. But I have to do that with all my sponge filters. I can't just pick up a sponge filter and pull it on my tank when I'm cleaning because I will leave a trail of muck behind as we go so that's no different than that so let's attach this and see how it is so it has to be he said at least 12 inches deep i have a 55 gallon tank let me pick this up and show you so this is the 55 gallon tank that it's let me get the light up there we go this is the 55 gallon tank that it's going to be going in after i test it out it's going to be too difficult for me to test out back here because it's hard for me to plug in and plug out if something's going wrong or adjust it. So 
This is the tank that it's going to be going in. That's for my Diamondback Terrapin. But for right now, I'm going to put it in my other 55. Let's take a look. So I'm going to take off the sponge filter. And if you notice, I have a whole lot of things sitting on top of these lids. And it might look like a fish jail. It is a fish jail. I have this weighted down. And I have this grate so I can just get food in. And then I have this over here. Because in this 55 gallon tank are all my bottom dwellers. You might say, well, why would you need a lid for all your bottom dwellers? Because one of those is my rope fish that uh, came out of quarantine a couple days ago. I got a rope fish in here. So anyway, that's why everything's on. I'm going to disconnect my sponge filter and connect it to my Zeiss. To my Zeiss. To my Zeiss. I actually have another line I can connect to that sponge filter and keep... Oh, look at that. It's, it's bubbling, but there's no bio media moving yet. And this is where that said it could take a couple hours or it could take a couple days. So let's take a look. So it's in there. It's a bubbling, which is good. The media bed is not moving yet, but that's to be expected. We'll come back and check. There's a lot more glare tonight. But it does look like the bottom and corner layers of the biomedia is moving. We'll come back and check later. I'm going to try to focus on the media because the media is moving. See it from top to bottom. Took about two or three days. This filter, I, I like it. I like it a lot. And the noise doesn't bother me because I made sure to keep the noise on in this room. This room sounds like a fish room to me. Maybe if I had one tank in my living room as my show tank, people would notice that. It's here in my reptile room. So I've got an air pump up there that's louder than this bubbler. I think that's the only thing making noise in this now that I moved all my tanks out. But the noise doesn't bother me. And if this filters as good as I think it's going to, I'm going to be thrilled. So thanks for coming with me and checking out my unboxing and my very first aquarium co-op package. <laughs> And I will see you next time.